friends, we have made it. This is the last math lesson for first grade this year. This is all we're doing. This is the last one. We will be done after this. And guess what it is? It's time. So let's get started. All right. Today we are working with Miss Duckett again, and we are still working on time. We will not be doing our fluency or our application problem today. So let's let's get started with Miss Duckett, shall we? Let me bring my video down here a little bit. There we go. All right. Hope you have your clock ready. If you want to write it like this on your board? You can. It's up to you. It's Miss Duckett here, ready to guide you through another math lesson. I am so excited to learn with you all today. Today, we are going to practice telling time. On the screen to the left, you will see the materials that you will need for today's lesson. Go ahead and press pause to gather what you will need, and I will be right here waiting when you get back. Welcome back. Did you get what you need? We got what we need. We're ready. Well, if you're ready, let, let me hear you say, say ooh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I didn't hear you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started with today's lesson. It's a good one. <laughs> Mathematicians, today we get to play a game. Ooh, ooh, I love and games. that game is called Mathegories. Okay. In this game, there will be four categories. Those categories are telling time to the hour, telling time to the hour versus the half hour, the placement of the hour hand, and lastly, telling time with story problems. There will be three rounds of questions. So there will be three different questions for each category. <laughs> you will want to make sure that you have your clock, your personal whiteboard, and a marker. Well, mathematicians, let the games begin. Let's start round clock. one, starting with the category of telling time to that hour. Here's the first question. Using your personal whiteboards, I want you to write the time that matches this clock. Go ahead and do that now. Okay. So our hour hand is on 11. It points to the one inside. So we're going to write down 11. And then the, oh, she's too fast. Take a moment to compare your work. So then our minute hand is going to point up here. Now, guys, I'm going to erase that six because we don't write it as 60. We write it as zeros. Okay. So I'm going to come down here, make zero, zero. So I have 11 on my hour hand. The short hand's gonna point to the hour time. The long hand's gonna point to the minute time, okay? So in this case, we have 11 and zero, zero, so, or 11 o'clock. Put the correct answer below. <gasps> got it. If you got the correct answer, great work. If not, that's okay. We all make mistakes and there'll be more opportunities for you to keep on practicing. Let's move on to the next category. The next category is telling time to the hour versus the half hour. Here's the question. Okay. Again, I want you to write the time that matches this clock. So it was in between the 12 and the one. So that means it's gonna be 12 still. And when I come down here to the minute hand, it's on my 30. Point to the answer that matches what you wrote down on your clock. Ooh, we wrote this one, 12.30. The correct answer is 12.30. If it's in between, stay hmm. with the one you have closer. Mathematicians, can you remind me, what's another way that we can say 12.30? We can say half past 12. Because it's another way that we can say 12.30 is half past 12. Great work, mathematicians. Are you ready for the next category? Let's try it. 
Okay, the next category is the placement of the hour hand. Here's your question. Mm. I want you to look closely at the hour hand. I want you to ask yourself, based on the location or the placement of the hour hand, do you think it's two o'clock or 2.30? No. Again, the question is, take a look at the hour hand. Based on the location or the placement of the hour hand, is it two o'clock or 2.30? Write down the correct time on your personal whiteboards. I'm gonna pause for a second. Now, if it were on the two, then I would think it's two o'clock. But because it's halfway past the two, I know that half past two means that it's 2.30. So I'm gonna guess that it's 2.30. All right, let's see if we're right. And the correct answer is 2.30. When I look at the hour hand, I notice that it's halfway in between the two and the three, which tells us that the clock is probably showing 2.30. Great work, mathematicians. Let's move on to the next category. Our next category is telling time with story problems. Here's the question. Kim's dance class starts at three o'clock. The class lasts half an hour. What does the clock look like when the class ends? Show the time using your clocks and your personal whiteboards. Okay, so I'm gonna read that question one more time. Kim's dance class starts at three o'clock. The class lasts half an hour. What does the clock look like when the class ends? Go ahead and show the time using your clocks and your personal whiteboards. Okay, so it starts at three o'clock and it ends or it lasts half an hour. So we know that in half, we can move it down to the six. And that's gonna bring our three, or I mean our arrow halfway past the three. So the class will get out at 3.30. Take a second to compare your work with mine. Whoop, whoop. Ask yourself, did you make sure that the hour hand was directly in between the three and the four to show that is half past the hour. We did. Or 3.30. Remember, mathematicians, it's okay if you made a mistake. You'll have two more rounds to get some more practice in. Well, with that said, it's time for round two. We made it we'll through round four. Very first round category. Round one with four points, guys. As a reminder, our first category is telling time to the hour. Here's your question. Using your personal whiteboards and your clocks, I want you to show me the following time. Eight o'clock. Okay, eight o'clock. Show eight o'clock on your clock. And then on your whiteboard, show me what it will look like on a digital clock. I know when we Again, say eight o'clock, we're going to have zero. Go so ahead we need to go our hour to the eight because the hour is the eight. Eight o'clock. So now we've got to. And the current answer. Well, I haven't had time to write it down, Miss Duckett. Take a moment to compare your work with mine. That's what yours should look like. Well, on the eight. Paper's not as easy to move. Let's move on to our next category. Man, she's fast. The next category is telling time to the hour versus the half hour. Your question is, using your personal whiteboards and your clock, show me 12.30. 12, 30. 12, 30, okay, 12 is my clock. hour, so I'm going to pick and then hour on 12. Look like on a digital clock. And then 30 and then is my minute, so I'm going to point my minute hand to my 30. And then we're going to write it as 12, 30. And the correct answer is? Or half past 
go. Shoot. Oh, I didn't move. Take a moment to compare okay. your work with mine. Half past the 12. Now it's time for category C. Category C is the placement of the hour hand. Here is your question. Take a moment to look at the hour hand. Based on the location or the placement of the hour hand, do you think the clock is showing 4.30 or 4 o'clock? Well, when it's pointing Again, directly to take a moment the number, to look at the that hour means it's going to be o'clock. So Based 4 o'clock. Or the placement of the hour hand, is the clock showing 4 o'clock or is the clock showing 4.30? Write your answer on your personal whiteboards. If it was showing 4.30 or half past 4, it would be in between. It would be halfway between. When I look at the hour hand, I notice that it's pointing directly at the 4. That tells me that the clock is showing 4 o'clock. Let's see if I'm right. Ta-da! <laughs> did you also say 4 o'clock? We sure did. Great work, mathematicians. Let's move on to our last category. Our next category is telling time with story problems. Here is the question. When I left the house to buy groceries, it was five o'clock. It took me one hour to buy groceries and come home. What time did the clock show when I arrived home? Using your clocks and your personal whiteboards, I want you to show the time that it was when I arrived home. Again, the question is, when I left home to buy groceries, it was five o'clock. It took me one hour to buy groceries and come home. Using your clocks and your personal whiteboards, show me the time that the clock showed when I got home. Okay. Go ahead and do it now. Okay, so I'm showing five o'clock right now. My hour hand is right on the five. My minute hand is on the zeros, okay? Now it takes me one hour to buy groceries. Now remember, if I'm going for one hour, I'm gonna go all the way around with my minute hand. Hold on, hour hand, don't move here. It's going to go one number, okay? So if it took one hour, it is now six, because the hour is pointing to the six o'clock, which is the minute hands are pointing to the zeros. Okay. Take a moment to compare your work with mine. We got it. <laughs> well, mathematicians, that's the end of round two. I hope that you have had a chance to see how much you have grown so far in understanding our learning goal for today, telling time. Let's go ahead and move on to our last and final round. The first category is telling time to the hour. Here's your question. I want you to show me 12 o'clock using your clocks and your personal whiteboards. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so 12 is my hour, so I'm gonna have my hour hand point at the 12 and o'clock has zero minutes, so it's going to point up to is. So you would write it as 12. Let's move on to category two. Category two is telling time to the hour versus the half hour. Your question is, I want you to show me half past nine using your clocks and your personal whiteboard. Okay, half past nine. Go ahead. And so that now. nine, I'm going to go halfway reminder, between the nine and the ten. Me half past and half, nine. My minute hand is going to go on my six because it's halfway. Remember, it's halfway between the nine. nine. Did your work look like this? Ta-da! <laughs> Let's move on to the next category. The next category is the placement of the hour hand. Take a moment. To look oh, at my hour okay. hand. Based off the placement or the location of the hour hand, would you say that the clock is showing seven o'clock or seven thirty? 
go ahead and mark your answers on a personal whiteboard. My hour hand is halfway past the seven, so I know it's going to be at 7.30. So 7.30 is my when answer. When I look at this clock, I notice that the hour hand is in between the seven and the eight. So that tells me that the clock is showing 7.30. Well, let's move on to the last category. The last category is telling time with story problems. Here's your question. School begins at 8.30. We have lunch after three hours. What time do we have lunch? Show your answer using your personal whiteboards and your class. Again, the question is, school begins at 8.30. We have lunch three hours after. What time do we have lunch? Show your answers on your personal whiteboards in your class. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Now, here's 8.30. Remember, it's halfway between my eight, all right? Or half past my eight, and then my minute is on my six because it's gonna show 30. Now, I wanna go three hours. So I'm gonna take my hour hand and I'm gonna go one, two, three. Now, now it is, half past the 11, so it makes that 11.30. Because it didn't ask me to change my minutes, it just asked me to change my hours. Take a moment to compare your work with mine. We did it. Well, mathematicians, now it's time for the problem set. You all worked so hard today and really stretched the brain. Great work. Your must-do problems are numbers one through five and number seven, letters D, E, and F. Remember to do your best work for 10 minutes. Here's a cheer for all your hard work. It's called the fantastic cheer. It goes like this. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Miss Duckett. All right, we're going to stop sharing. Guys, that's it. We did our last lesson. We are finished for the year. Woo! Now, if you really, really, really want to do some math today, then you can go on and do the problem set. That's fine by me. I don't care if you do it or not today. There's no assignment because it's the last lesson. And I just really want you to just kind of practice the math with me. So I hope you enjoyed having me as your first grade math teacher this year. It's been a little crazy, but we did it. We made it through. We're done. Woo -hoo! All right, friends. Goodbye.